Hi, I am John Keeley. All abnormal discordant aggregations in these resonating convolutions produce differentiation to concordant transmission, and according as these differentiations exist in volume, so the transmissions are discordantly transferred, producing antagonism to pure physical action. Thus, in motor ataxy, a differentiation of the minor thirds of the posterior parietal lobule produces the same condition between the retractors and extenders of the leg and foot, and thus the control of the proper movements is lost through this differentiation. The same truth can be universally applied to any of the cerebral convolutions that are in a state of differential harmony to the mass of immediate cerebral surroundings. Taking the cerebral condition of the whole mass as one, it is subservient to one general head center, although as many neutrals are represented as there are convolutions. The introductory minors are controlled by the molecular, the next progressive third by the atomic, and the high third by the etheric. All these progressive links have their positive, negative, and neutral position. When we take into consideration the structural condition of the human brain, we ought not to be bewildered by the infinite variety of its sympathetic impulses, inasmuch as it unerringly proves the true philosophy that the mass chords of such structures are governed by vibratory etheric flows. There is no structure whatever, animal, vegetable, or mineral, that is not built up from the cosmic ether. Certain orders of attractive vibration produce certain orders of structure, thus the infinite variety of effects, more especially in the cerebral organs. Discordance cannot exist in the molecule proper. Discordance in any mass is the result of differentiated groups induced by antagonistic chords, and any differentiated mass can be brought to a condition of harmony or equation by proper chord media, and an equated sympathy produced whether the mass be metal or brain.